head. You hear that? Isn't that a rattlesnake? Is it really? Yeah, it is. I'm getting out. So I wasn't able to line up a drone, but I'm thinking about getting one. So maybe we'll get some footage in the future of the place, but I thought this would be a pretty cool, close to aerial view of the homestead because we're going to do kind of a tour today. So it's kind of down in this old river valley. You can see the top of the house right there. And that's where the house is. The barn's right over here, dugouts over here. And this peak is called Crow Peak. And rumor has it, that's where the Crow Indian tribe had their last stand with the Sioux Indians. And the Sioux wiped them out. They had their last battle along this, this ridge, what we call Crow Peak Bench. If my facts are wrong, my grandpa's gonna do, we're gonna do an interview with him in a couple weeks. I gave him a little time to prepare so he could be sharp. He wouldn't forget anything. But we got our tour guide with us today. So she's got her facts ready. Right, babe? Not really. Not really. Here's the original, well not the original, here's the homestead house. There was one house here before, but they only lived in it a couple years and then it burnt down over the winter. So they moved up to this dugout, which is basically just a hole in the hillside. <laughs> but we're gonna go check it out. Last time I was in there, I think I got chased out by a skunk. Gross. So Damaris, is, Damaris is gonna lead the way today. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, they had eight kids, all eight of them up in here. I don't know all the history. Like I said, my grandpa's gonna explain it all in the video coming up. Uh, I don't wanna get a bunch of stuff wrong. You should say grandma and grandpa. Grandma and grandpa, but no, that's part of the reason I'm doing this so I can learn it all again too and just have it stuck in my head. But we'll go check out the dugout, go look in the barn, first. do all that stuff. Yeah, there's a, there's a ditch there. Oh, could have told me that. No, there's nothing in there. You're good. Honey, I don't believe you. You gotta lead the way. Honey. No, I'm just kidding. I don't believe you. I'll scare anything out and then you can get in there. It could come running out to me. It might. Don't think. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Here. You gonna follow me? No. I need you to. Fix the door first. Maybe you should just turn around and smile. In. Are you sure there's nothing in there? There's nothing in here. Maybe something dead. You hear that? Isn't that a rattlesnake? Is it really? Yeah, it is. I'm getting out. <laughs> Can I see that? No. Honey, there is not, a rattler in there, but I'm just going to look gonna, in. Oh, <laughs> no. No. Damaris isn't having it, but I want to take a peek. Honey, you're making me watch the tall grass now, too. I am not taking 
We're just gonna take a peek, see if we can see. Yeah, there's definitely a rattler in there. Must be in these rocks somewhere. Because I don't see them. Pretty cool little dugout though. I couldn't see him. I think he's living. It's just like rocks like this on the walls inside. Yeah. So there's a bunch of holes like this. I, I think he's living in those holes. I talked to Maris into coming and listening. So I'll be I'll be in front. It's okay. Thanks, babe. The things you do for me. There. So you started again. You hear it? It's disgusting. Here, come here. You hear him? Did you shine a light in there? Yeah, you wanna look? You think he's in it's there? It's not very big, it's just this little room. Yeah, he's definitely in the wall because I can't I can't see him anywhere. Okay. You wanna come in and look? Nope, time to go. <laughs> I'll just peek over your shoulder. Okay. Hey snake. Tell us where you are. Really good. <laughs> See? It's these over in this wall somewhere. Wait. Get out of here. <laughs> I just want to see him. He doesn't sound very. Oh, there he is. He's little. <clears throat> Are you done? Right there. You want to come look at him? He's just curled up in the corner. Hey, little snake. I swear if one comes out of the wall. <laughs> He's just flickering his tongue. Not in <laughs> All right, see you later, buddy. It's probably a good place to live. The ceiling looks good. I know. The ceiling looks in good shape. The walls do really too. There's our snake. can go check out the barn. <laughs> oh. Got some turkeys down in the creek. Hey turkey. Oh, they're just little babies. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go check out the barn. Did you have a heart attack? No. It's probably not good for the baby, is it? <laughs> How have you been feeling? Feel good. Okay, good. We'll go look at the barn. Little dizzy. Little dizzy. So the house was built in the 1880s. This barn was built in, I believe, 1917. So my grandpa actually hand cut all these stones that he used to build it out of the hill just right behind here. But this silo, I can remember as a kid, there was a, a nest of rattlesnakes down in the bottom and I'd come and throw throw rocks at them <laughs> but they're way in the bottom honey it's like pretty deep i don't see any snakes babe so you're good but it's pretty cool i always wondered how the heck they made these back in the day have you ever looked in here honey huh you want to come over here i'm gonna go in the barn Well, you can jump in my arms. Here, check it out. It's pretty neat. See, how the heck do you think they made this back? It's not so modern, modern tech. They must have had a pulley yeah. system. An old rail. Get stuff out of here. Car? I don't know what it is. 
So here's another little shed that was probably a granary of some sort or something. Just mostly junk now. We should take a little better care of it. But maybe that can be our generation, honey. We can fix this all up. <laughs> it's a big project. It'd be cool to redo the barn. Mm -hmm. All the doors, the, the roof, really cool. and everything. Yeah, the barn is cool. I know I got 20% now. We got more back. It's pretty dark in here. I don't know if you guys can see much, but there's two big compartments. I don't know. This probably isn't helpful. And then on this side, there are more. There's just some stalls and stuff. My parents actually used to raise sheep when they first moved back out of college. Um, they didn't have cows at first. They, they started with sheep. My grandpa had cows. So they did all their lambing in here. That's what they used all these pens for. This was their, their lambing barn. And before that, who knows? We'll have to talk with Grandpa and hear about what all they did with it. But it was in really good shape. But some teenage kid and all his friends came and paintballed in here and broke a lot of the windows. Are you talking about yourself? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to paintball in here. So it's cool, this must have been an old hay feeder. Dropped hay down in here and the cows and sheep just ate out of it. But it's a really cool barn. Should we go upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then on this side is just another big, another big pen. We had our 4-H pigs on this side. That's why there's still a little bit of a pen. <clears throat> Shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Watch your steps. Some of these are in very good condition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially this last one. Which one? This one. It's just pretty slanted. Alright, so this must have been the hayloft. I know in the, I think in the 20s and 30s, they actually used to have barn dances up here. I don't know what all this equipment is. Maybe some of you guys know what this thing would have been. Do you know, babe? Oh, this is a door. Yeah, I don't know either. Something for seed, maybe? Yeah. I have no There's idea. There's a name on it. Heart? Something. I don't know. I want to break it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hero. What did Hero make? You guys probably know Hero. better than I do. But lots of old crates. Cool things. Yeah, watch your step. Pretty good in here, but over by the piano. It's not good. Really. Good. Should we go look at the piano? Mm -hmm. But they've still got the piano up in here from when they did the did the barn dances, which we'd really like to take it out and refurbish it too. But probably like the barn. It's got to really be heavy. super heavy. But the detail is is beautiful. You want to play us a tune? I don't know if it'd still work. You can try it. Watch this hole. Oh no, they're pretty. Nah. They're pretty yeah. Watch your step, honey. I know. It is pretty, though. There's old bones in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Just a lot of bones from birds and things dying. But it'd be cool to fix it up. I don't know Whoa. if we ever could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so.
I think this door will fall out if we open it. Brings you out to that side. Get another sort of weighted pulley system, probably to get hay up in here. windows and then this is just out front some box small wall yeah should we keep looking around Ceiling is pretty neat. Yeah, just some old gear. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Harnesses for mm -hmm. team of horses. Go back down the steep stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over here too. Mm -hmm. Lots Hanging of stuff. <clears throat> Should come get some of it and clean it up. You think so? Yeah. They're pretty steep, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Want me to go first? Or are you good? I'm okay. As long as they don't break on me. They shouldn't. They're probably built a lot better than yeah, things built these days. Mm -hmm. You never know. You never know. So there's another open face shed over here. And this is actually where we used to feed all of our yearlings, or our calves, background them, like we do at our feedlot now. This is where they used to do that. Up until not really that long ago, maybe 10 years ago. And then we, we built that feedlot down, down by the home place. Pretty cool old truck. We'll go check it out. for the coons, babe. <laughs> I like to scare her a little. Yeah, I don't know what this old truck was. I'm sure my grandpa could tell us. <laughs> it's an old Ford. Red. Fix her up and be my next ranch pickup. It's another truck. It's really wide. It is, it's big, isn't it? They probably used to haul cows with this up to the hills before we had pickups and trailers. Mm -hmm. See what this truck is. An old Chevy. 4400. Pretty cool. License plate says 1981. So that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to show. This is just the well house that we still use for the house and stuff. But yeah, this was this whole area was kind of a winter camping spot for the crows and crow Indians and the Sioux. So there's a lot of a lot of arrowheads we find down along the creek and stuff. But kind of neat. Did you learn anything, honey? 
But I don't like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But I don't really know what else to say. We pretty much showed you guys around everywhere. But, yeah. Sorry I don't know much more of the history. But my grandpa will be explaining it all soon. So, thanks for coming along. Really appreciate it. Or do you want to do the outro? That's oh, right. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>